Hello, my name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection attorney in the state of Alabama. and We get a lot of questions about debt collection lawsuits, probably the most common question we get because you have these companies out there just filing hundreds and hundreds of lawsuits every week against Alabama consumers. So one question we get is, does the collection lawyer have to show me, the consumer, the contract between the collection lawyer and the plaintiff? In other words, the debt collector suing you. And the answer is no. They do not have to do that. Okay. Here's where the confusion comes in. When we have these debt buyers, we'll have the original creditor, and then they supposedly sell it to this company, and then that company supposedly sells it to here, who then sells it to Portfolio Recovery, LVNV, whoever it may be. And we say, rightfully so, and we've been teaching this for really a decade now, is they have to go back through that chain of title. They have to prove that they own the debt. It's not merely enough to show that I owe the debt. They have to show they own the debt. And so they have to go back through. Well, how do you do that? Well, all of these transactions, there are contracts. We need to see those contracts. And oh my goodness, they hate giving up those contracts. The biggest reason is most time those contracts say, by the way, there's nothing in here that we say that we are promising is accurate. It's kind of like buying a car as is. Like, hey, I don't know what I'm selling you, but you buy it if you want. Well, see, that's inconsistent with them coming into court and going, judge, this is the gospel truth. No, it's not. It's like nothing, okay? So we're very big on that. We, you know, when we talk with judges, when we train other lawyers, we talk about this. But sometimes people say, well, no, I, I want the collection lawyer to show me that he's really authorized by Midland Funding, Asset Acceptance, LVNV, whoever it is, to sue me. Well, that you're not entitled to. Okay, just like if you hire, for example, me as your lawyer, they're not entitled to see that. Okay, if a lawyer says, files what's called a notice of appearance or a, a pleading, an answer, a complaint, whatever it may be, saying, I am the lawyer, well, then we go with that. And so don't think, oh, this collection lawyer is claiming they own the debt. Okay, very few exceptions. I mean, there's a few of these collection lawyers that have their own debt buying firms, but and we won't get into that. It's a whole sort of mess with that. But the guys that are out there suing you, they do not own the debt. They don't make any claim to owning the debt. They're just the lawyer. Just like if you hire me to sue Midland Funding, I'm your lawyer. Well, if Midland Funding hires Holloway and Moxley to sue you, Holloway and Moxley is just their lawyer. Midland's suing you. So you're not entitled to get that contract. There's no need for that. The battle is, okay, Midland's here. Can they prove all these steps back to the original creditor? I'll just tell you this. I've been doing this a long time. I've represented hundreds and hundreds of people with Midland, for example. Never seen them prove that. Maybe they can in your case. I just have never seen that happen. So if you have questions about your debt collection lawsuit and you would like to get some more information, you want us to go over your five options that you have, you have questions about what will happen at trial or should you settle, should you fight, what should you do, just pick up the phone calls, 205-879-2447 or you go to alabamaconsumer.com and again that number is 205-879-2447 anywhere in the state of Alabama. We represent people, I suppose, in every single county. I guess I've been in because we've been doing this so long. But wherever you are in Alabama, if you're sued in Alabama, we'll definitely be happy to help you. And I appreciate you watching this and hope you have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.